My name is Debbie Purcell. I am a professional ultimate fighter, and <laughs> that's an idea. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was a gymnast, and my parents were really into it. They're really like were into the whole sports thing, and they became judges, and I competed in gymnastics. You know, they were really into it. So my dad, he loves the fact that I still compete. You know, and that I'm still, you know, he loves it. He really enjoys it a lot. It's not his preferred sport, of course, for me. You know, they're like football jocks, and you know the whole that. The, I didn't do the whole football college thing. I did the whole punk rock, do drugs. You know, <laughs> so of course I ended up as a fighter. <laughs> I mean, I did go to school, but it was later, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, and my mom, she liked it. She liked that it gave me an outlet for me and for what it did for my life. I mean, fighting has given me a really uh, self of accomplishment, and, like, it's just a very good release for me. I think it's actually, like, a good, healthy release. My mom got diagnosed with brain cancer five years ago, and she passed away two years later, so I lost her. And that was very difficult, a very difficult time in my life because they gave her like six months to live and I was, she was like my best friend and so I helped take care of her for a couple of years and that was, that was very rough. I started getting into training because when I was younger I was kind of like a... I guess a bad child and I was into a lot of bad things and I had a lot of anger I think and so when I first started training it was to learn how to fight and kind of focus some of my energy and my anger away that's why I first started training this year I want to fight I want to actually get the fights I've had a really tough time lining up fights. There was a time when I was healthy for a year and I was training, I would fight anyone and nobody would step up to fight me. So then I tore my knee and a couple girls were like, I'll fight you, I'll fight you. And I'm like, great, that's great. So I had my warm up fight in Japan and then I came back and now I'm trying to line up a fight again. And the one girl I was gonna fight got injured. The other girl refuses to do it. And it's just, it's really, it's very difficult to try to line up fights. But my goal this year is to just fight as often as possible, the top girls. Even if they block the high kick, it's still gonna set up your hook to set up your kick. I think Debbie's at the top. I mean, I think she's one of the best girl fighters out there. I think that she's probably the toughest person I've ever met because she's dealt with tons of injuries and keeps fighting. And she's really coachable, which is awesome. I love having her as a student because everything, anything you tell her to do, basically she'll do. And that's, that's basically all you care about in a student. <laughs> I train like a guy and I do that and the only reason I'm able to do that is because I have my own companies. I am a refrigeration contractor and I do mostly commercial refrigeration. Um, I also own a design company and we focus on vintage style aprons and I own a clothing company and a website for fighter girls. She's got that back arch and the hips gonna go. I can't believe that, Brad. That arm is hyper expanded. Amy Patan did not come here to tap out. She came here to fight. She is not gonna give up. Left hands. Trying to come around. 
holding the arm with her left and clutching with the right is Debbie Purcell. Unbelievable skill. Oh my God, look at Debbie Purcell. Amy Patan cannot away. free up that left hand with that right she hand. Just, the fight is over. Too many blows to the head. Debbie it was a tough fight. I mean, I did take her down and stuff, and like I broke her arm and she would not tap. And it was disgusting because I'm like just I could hear it like crying and she and I don't I don't really want to hurt people when I'm fighting I mean I want to win it's not about like I want to hurt them. Just going out there and fighting I think my honestly for me I think the fact that I'm willing to fight anybody and that I'll just I step up and I show up and I, I put the training time in that's what my biggest role in the sport has been. I think a lot of people would think otherwise because they give me credit for you know doing doing these things but I think for me just the fact that I put so much hard training time in like some people they it's easier to fight and not train that's where the hard part comes in is training every day and getting injured and then some of the girls they just train once in a while and they go out and fight you know and so that's that's what my, my dedication to the sport is that I give my like my body up to it. Maybe a little more